Make sure that horse doesn't come back with too many circles under his eyes. I'll take care of that myself, personally. Jack. Yes, darling? I want to ask you something. Well, go ahead. Promise you won't be angry? Well, I'm never angry with you. Well, what I want to say is... Jack Barry! Is... Yeah? There's a couple of strangers down in the south pasture. Well, what are they doing down there? I don't know, but it's the second time this week I've seen them. Tell me about all that later, will you, darling? I don't quite understand why Barnes sends us after this stuff. It looks just like sand to me. Well, there's plenty of it around here. We'll give him all he wants. It's that Jack Manning be healthy. You know who they are? Never saw him before. Let's go. Well, that ought to satisfy Barnes. This looks like trouble. I'd sure like to know what they were after. You get the stuff? Yeah, we got it all right, but we had a tough time getting away from Manning. Ah, that guy's always cluttering up the landscape. Say, what's the boss want with that sand? He's got his reasons. Wait till he gets his hands on that Reed Ranch. We'll be sitting pretty. Yeah, but that'll be plenty tough with Manning around. He's dynamite. The boss has figured right now how to get rid of him. Who were those 
men, Jack. I don't know, Lynn. They got away. Oh, well, I won't be here long enough to worry about it. Why, what do you mean? Well, what I tried to say before was, I'm leaving for New York tomorrow. <laughs> what, again? I mean it this time. A letter just came from an agency in New York, and they feel sure they can find a place for me in a big show. I can just see my name in lights now. Yes, and then a fuse blows out on you, and where are you? Oh, then stop kidding yourself. You'll never do for the stage. Is that so? Well, I'll prove it. Well, you don't have to. Just stay here and let me run this ranch. I've already made arrangements to sell the place to Mr. Barnes. Has he made you an offer? A very good one. Well, if Barnes has made you an offer, a very good offer, then he must have a reason. I'm not interested in his reasons. I'm selling out. And nothing can stop me. Well, maybe not. But I'll try and think of a way. See you later, Miss Bernhardt. That Barnes is slick, all right. He sure figured a neat way to get Manning out of the picture. Yeah, but what are we going to do? He says to get some of the boys together and run off some of the Reed girls' cattle. He'll take care of the rest. Well, let's get going. Hey! Hey! What's that? Lynn Reed's cattle rustled by Jack Manning. Say, who is this? This is Barnes speaking, Sheriff. I'm telling you, it was Jack Manning. You better grab him before he gets out of town. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you get all the evidence you need. foreman of yours, Jack Manning. Oh, you must be wrong. He wouldn't do that to me. We've got plenty of proof. So he thought that would keep me here. What's that you say? I said I hope you keep him in jail forever. Hey. What? Hey. Hello. Hello. Hoop it up tonight, make a real party of it, eh? Wow. Oh, sure. oh, no. oh, no, but I came here to have some fun. Oh, come on, don't be an old wallflower. Oh, no. Get him up there, girl. I'll fight you. Hey, boy, you know that song? <laughs> he doesn't know it, but it's going to be a surprise party. I was born to the range, my home is the range where the mountains meet the sky. As a kid buckaroo, I learned how to round the stage. I was born to the plains, the bridle and reins and the coyotes yelping cry. Give me saddles to mend and cattle to tend all day. Let me hear those cowboys humming. Humming a western tune Let me hear the banjo strumming Under a prairie moon I was born to the trail The rainstorm and gale And the stampede of the herd And I'll never exchange My life that's born to the range Born to the range Nice work, Jack. You sure know how to handle them bars. And I've got plenty of bars that can handle you. Well, I'm afraid I don't quite follow you, sir. I hate to do this, Jack, but I'll have to take you in for cattle rustling. What do you mean, cattle rustling? What's this, Sheriff? You're not accusing Jack Manning of cattle rustling, are you? Well, you're not surprised, are you, Barnes? Well, so long, folks. I'll be seeing you soon. I hope. Well, what do you think of that? My pal, a cattle rustler.
Why, he ought to be lynched. Guns cocked, his face filled with determination, Duke Desmond kicked open the door of the shack. Slowly and grimly, he walked into the cabin. Catching the three men by surprise, he holds the killers at bay. Desmond says, Coley. Desmond says, Coley. This is a fight to the finish. I certainly wish you would. Now, why don't you be a good chap and go to sleep and finish the story in the morning? Hmm? Say, listen here. I'm a lone wolf from Texas, and this is my night to howl. My howl is gone. Come on now. Go to sleep. Oh, I know. I won't go to sleep till you sing me something. Sing you something? What do you want to hear? Oh, lullaby. My mother always used to put me to sleep with a lullaby. I must have a lullaby to go to sleep. All right, I'll sing you a lullaby. All right. Sleep, little cowboy, sleep. Here is your bed to tumble into. Soon you'll be dreaming of the pinto. You'll be riding someday. Dream, little cowboy, dream. Just make believe that you got weary. Rounding up the cattle on the prairie And a poor wandering stray Maybe you'll meet Buffalo Bill On the trail to Slumberland Maybe you'll greet An Indian brave and his Indian band So sleep little cowboy sleep you said you would when my song ended now prove to me you really meant it sleep little cowboy sleep how are you there All right, all bets now, boy. Good. On number three. Friends, Romans, and cattlemen, lend me your ears for a minute. All right, all bets now, boys. Five on number one. Give me your attention for a minute, will you, boys? Take 20 on the red. Two on three. $20 on the red. Put two bits on the double O for me, will you? All bets off. I don't want to borrow your ears. $20 on the red, right down there. Put that round there. $20. All right, number 29, the black wins, boy. My fingers behave. <laughs> oh, excuse me. 
by the blood that I've spilled and the men that I've killed <laughs> would make old Jesse James yell in his grin. Yippee! How boy did it. <laughs> I sharpen my knives in the morning and until they clean like the sun I carve my initials a nosy officials, and that's my idea of fun. Say, hey boys, what do you say we all get together and have some fun, huh? Now, the thing I want to talk to you about, boys, is, uh, well, it's kind of important. What I've been trying to say is, every one of you lost cattle to the rustlers. And how many did you catch? I'll tell you, two. And what happened to the first rustler? He laid in jail for a whole week, eating at your expense. And then some smart lawyer talked him off. Now we got another cow thief locked up, waiting for some lawyer to talk him off. Jack Mann was caught red-handed. And unless something is done, another smart cow thief will talk him out of the clinic. What's on your mind, Lily? Crane may be the answer your prayer, Mr. Barnes. He's trying to pull off a necktie party for Jack Manning. Well, I don't get it. I thought those two were supposed to be buddies. Yeah? Well, you ought to hear Buzz blasting him now. Anyway, it's a swell way to get Manning. Buzz has given me a good idea. We'll round up our own boys and handle the job right. Bring him in. Looks like be kind to Barnes week. With Manning out of the way, I'm a sense to close that deal. Lynch is too good for it. But it'll do. Hey, Buzz. Barnes wants to see you. Oh. <laughs> what makes you so jumpy, Buzz? Oh, nothing. I, at first I didn't see you, and then I did see you, and I was kind of surprised, that's all. <laughs> Have a chair. Thanks, sir. Uh, Mr. Barnes, that's nice, sir. <laughs> Have a cigar. Never smoke them, but I'll bring it home to my grandma. <laughs> What's this I hear about you organizing a roping party for your old sidekick? Well, if you ask me, he's got it coming to him. Well, ordinarily, we're law-abiding citizens, Buzz. Lynching's against the law. But this time, I got to admit you're right. Sure, I'm right. And I didn't jump at no conclusions, neither. Well, Buzz, I never heard of you giving anybody the worst of it. And if you figure he's got it coming, that's good enough for us. We're with you, aren't we, boys? You bet, sir. Sure. Thanks, Mr. Barnes. I knew I could count on you. Come in. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Buzz. I'd like to see Jack Manning. Is he in? His office hours are from 12 to 12. Then he's in. Have you uh, got an appointment? Sure, sure. Cell 4, the one with a southern exposure. So they finally caught up with you. I never thought you'd come to this. For old time's sake, I'm going to help you all I can. That is, legally. But that don't mean we're going to be buddies again when you come out of jail. Well, what about Len? Does she think we'll her cattle? She don't know what to think about it. Anyway, she's getting ready to go east. You don't tell me that Barnes... It wasn't Barnes so much. It's that goofy idea of hers of always wanting to be a play actress. Yeah, I know. There isn't anything much you can do with Lynn Reed once she makes up her mind. And her mind's set on selling that ranch. Tonight. Tonight? Buzz, I gotta get out of here. As long as I was free, I could keep her from selling it. Can't you do anything about it? There's a bunch that's gonna take you out of here tonight. Yeah? Gee, that's sure nice of them. Nice? What are you talking about? Well, I didn't know I had so many friends. Friends are more than riches. When you have them, you have everything. Especially friends that'll help you out of trouble. 
friends, they're going to lynch you. Lynch me? Sure, what else? It won't hurt much. They just tie a rope around your neck and to drive your horse out from underneath you, and something goes crack, and there you are. I'll be over in a few seconds. Well, I guess that settles that. Yep. And you, too. I already did it. I arranged the lynching. You arranged the lynching. Sure, you wanted to get out, didn't you? Well, certainly I wanted to get out. Barnes is going to help me. Barnes is going to help? Yeah, he's lending us a rope and a man, if you see what I mean. <laughs> Plus, I used to think you were as dumb as a jackrabbit, but you're smarter than you look, if it works. Yeah, if it works, I'm a genius. If it don't, you're a corpse. Well, there better not be any slip-ups. How can there be? I'm going to handle the whole thing myself. That's what I'm afraid of. Ah, oh, it's a cinch. Look, I'll tie your hands sort of loose-like, so that you can slip them when you're under the tree. Yeah. And I'll spot your horse near the hangman's tree in the draw. Yeah. The rest is up to you. When you get away, meet me at my shack. Well, sounds simple. I hope it works. Don't worry about a thing. Nothing can slip up. Nothing but the rope around my neck, that's yeah. all. Huh? Oh, well, good luck, Jack. I'll be seeing you later. I hope. crowd gathering here tonight for the necktie party. Sure, that's the only way to handle a wrestler. Oh, you're right about that. <laughs> you? Well, uh, I, I was just uh, stirring up some more people. Where, down to jail? Well, well, you see, it's this way. I, uh... I thought so. Well, I'll just stay here and be sure the sheriff doesn't get me mixed up in this. See, that's the best thing to do. I want you two to hoop it up. Make it a good show. And when the sheriff comes down the street, duck. All right. Haynes will have the man behind the jail. Ready to start the minute the sheriff leaves there. All right, get going. And remember, it won't be healthy if Jack Manning's alive tomorrow. Come on, fellas. You're staying here. But I'm the leader. I started this. And I am finishing it. But I gotta go, I tell you. I gotta Sit go. Sit down. But I gotta go, don't you? Sit down. Yes, sir. All right, turn her loose. shooting up the whole west end of town. Who? I don't know. It must be a dozen of them. Well, we'll have to answer to them all for that. Come on. Well, I ain't no officer. That's what you think. But I'm deputizing you right now. Follow me. I'm about out of ammunition. Me too. We'd better be moving before the sheriff gets here. Yeah. Two different calibers. Both been fired in the last few minutes. Don't look like they've done much damage, Joe. Let's go in the saloon and see what's going on. Thank you. 
Come on, come on, quit your stalling. Get it over with. Got anything to say? Well, yes, just a few words. Let's have them. Well, this puts me in a rather embarrassing situation. It, it sort of reminds me of the fellow down in Texas that was... Oh, come on, quit stalling. Well, as long as I have to go, I'm going to give you the names of a few others who are mixed up in this deal with me. Point them out. We'll fix them. I hate to be a stool pigeon, but there's one of them right over there. Trying not to show it, but you can see by his face he's as guilty as I am. Now reach for it! Get back to your gang. Well, you wouldn't let me go along. I told you 20 times I didn't think it would be right for you to be a witness at your buddy's hanging. But don't you see how I felt about it? Yeah, you told me all about it. Your reputation. Do you think I want to be known as a pal of a rustler? I've had about enough of this. I've got important business down at Len Reed's. Then I can go? Yes, with pleasure. Woo! I can go. Uh, where's the hat? Oh, it's too bad Manning gave us a slip, but you can't follow a trail at night. Uh, don't worry, we'll get him yet. Now, uh, let's go inside and get a drink. Hey, Jack! Well, I'll say one thing for you, Buzz. You're a perfect fixer-upper. Everything was ready. The horse was ready, and the tree was ready, and the boys were in the right mood. 
And I think the rope would have been a perfect fit. Oh, please, Jack. This is not the time to start to recriminate me. Barnes is over talking to Lynn right now. Lynn. Come on, genius. I realize I haven't had the experience, but if I could go to New York now while the season's open and... What's going to stop you? The little matter of money. Well, that's the real reason I'm buying your ranch. Of course, it's not the best investment in the world for me, but what's the use of having friends if we can't give and take a little? That's right. Give a little and take a whole lot. Well, I thought you were... In jail? No, no. Not as long as I have give and take barns on my team. Money nice of you, Barnes, to send that rope to me. And someday I hope to do the same thing for you. Look here, Manning. You've made enough trouble already. Take my advice and get out of town. Take that that crawled out from under a wet rock with you. What did he call me? He didn't say. Now, if you'll sign this deed, I'll have a cashier's check made payable to you. Don't do it, then. Listen to me. I've listened to you long enough. I'm only trying to help you. If you call stealing my cattle, lying to me, robbing me blind, helping me, thank you very much. See if he has a gun, Buzz. I have some unfinished business with Miss Sarah Bernhardt. Don't you stop acting like a comic strip hero and get out of here. I'll quit. If you'll stop making a fool out of yourself. Oh, some more of that Marines to the rescue stuff, huh? Even the Marines couldn't help you. There's only one thing you can do for me, and that's get out and stay out. He ain't got a gun. Huh? I own this ranch, Mr. Manning, and I suggest you leave. Or would you rather wait for the sheriff? Well, I just won a popularity contest around here, Buzz. Goodbye to the old homestead. Pretty old place, ain't it? Yeah, she's got a new one. Oh, no, it hasn't. Well, all he's got to do is record the deed, and it's his. Well, he's going to have a mighty tough time doing that. The hand is quicker than the eye. Why don't you stay here and let me run the ranch for you? Why? So you can steal the rest of my cattle? Oh, that's not fair, Lynn. Don't you realize that Barnes did that as a gag to get rid of me? So he could make a deal with you? And what did you do? You fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, Jack, you're such a crazy fool. Didn't you believe what I said just now? I do. And you're not going east? Oh, but I am. That's right, honey. I should never stand in your way. Now, you go to New York and go on the stage and you'll have a fine career. I should never have tried to discourage you. Now, you get your things all packed up and I'll take you to the train in the morning. I'm sorry I behaved like I did. <laughs> That's all right, honey. You're just stubborn. You can't help it. Hello, Sheriff. This is Barnes. Yeah, Barnes. I've got kind of a tough job for you, Sheriff. That Reed girl's filling me out of $6,000. You better pick her up before she gets away. Don't worry. I'll see that she stops. Thanks, Sheriff. Whew. Well, I'm glad I ain't the Sheriff. Oh. Oh. Action. 
Take care of my horse. All right, Sheriff. I'm uh, sorry, Miss Reed, but you're under arrest. I'll have to take you to jail. Jail? What for? Well, it seems you got a check off of Barnes and forgot to deliver him the deed to your ranch. Well, I gave him the deed. Well, you'll have to straighten that out there. I've got to take you in. You can't arrest him like a common criminal. Well, I'm sorry, but I've got my duty to perform. But I tell you, you can't put me in jail. Uh, I've seen my duty, and I've done it. I've got the Reed girl locked up all right. What for? For stealing your deed. Wait a minute. How did you know she stole my deed? Why, I'm the sheriff. I know everything. <laughs> figure out why Barnes wants this ranch anyhow. Funny colored sand, isn't it? The heck with the color of the sand. This place has got a funny smell to it. You know, there's only one man that has an answer to all this. Barnes. You're getting better on that genius business. You think so? Thanks. That was just a shot in the dark. Come on, let's get out of here. Your lunch, Lynn. I'm not hungry. But it's good. Chicken noodle soup. I'm on a hunger strike. But you've got to eat, Lynn. My old lady cooked this especially for you. On a regular, but, you know, special privileges. But I don't want any special privileges. And what's more, I won't touch a bite of food in this cell. But, Lynn, you mustn't blame me. I'm only doing my duty. Doesn't make any difference. I'm under arrest, am I not? Well, technically, yes. But your appetite's not under arrest. Here, take this. I said I wasn't hungry.
Better change your mind, Lynn. Sheriff? Sheriff Judson! Sheriff! That's Barnes now. Mr. Barnes, what is the meaning of all this? There's nothing to get excited about, Lynn. There's been a mistake. That's a choice piece of understatement. I spend the night in jail, and you call it a mistake? Something happened to that deed you gave me. I'm sure we can straighten it out. Yes, but who's going to straighten the kinks out of my neck? The idea of having me put in jail like a low criminal. But I didn't. I don't know what happened to the deed after I gave it to you. And what's more, I don't care. Well, whether you believe it or not, I had nothing to do with your being in jail. Now, if you'll just sign a new deed to the cross bar X... But... I won't do it. I'm not selling the ranch. You can't do that. I bought the place and the sale's a sale. Nevertheless, I'm not selling. Now, don't be stubborn, Lynn. Just because the sheriff bungled matters, you mustn't blame me. Oh, give me a couple of aspirins. Maybe he'll go away. All right, then. I'll see that you stay here until you do change your mind. Well, don't run out of noodle soup, Sheriff. It looks like I'm going to be with you for a long time. <laughs> well, as far as that noodle question is concerned, I'll have to consult the old lady. The place looks much better without Barnes. We ought to find something in here to tell us why Barnes is so anxious to get a hold of Lynn's ranch. Go on, Buzz, have a look around. Thanks. How do you do? Uh, uh, nice day, ain't it? Uh, yes, it is. I'm looking for Mr. Barnes. Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Barnes ain't here right now, but uh, this is Mr. Manning, Barnes' right-hand man. What can I do for you? Well, um, my business is with Mr. Barnes. Well, there's no need for you to worry. Mr. Barnes doesn't do a thing without uh, our knowing it. Sit down. Well, thanks. <laughs> well, my name's Hawkins. And what I came down for is to discuss the matter of the purchase of the ranch. You mean the Crossbar X Ranch? Well, evidently, you gentlemen are acquainted with the details. Well, the Crossbar X is very valuable, you know. Oh, there's no doubt about that. Oh, yes, uh, there's no doubt about that. After we remove the other elements, there'll still be plenty of the stuff left to make us a very nice little profit. Just what would you say that stuff was? Oh, you mean the elements around it. Well, the exact chemical formula is just this. Uh, hydrocyanic subsulfate trinitrobenzol mixed with a little tetracarbon phenol. Yes, of course I understand, but uh, what I'm driving at is... What I'm driving at, Manning, is you're headed for trouble. Why, well, hello, Mr. Barnes. What are you doing here with him, Hawkins? Well, he told me he was your right-hand man. Yeah, he does a lot of talking. But from now on, he'll do his talking behind bars. Take him down to the chair. Yes. <laughs>
Uh, that ought to hold for a while. I'm going to pay a visit to Miss Reed, and this time I'm coming back with that deed. See that they stay here. and play a little rummy. What, that king? Then a hot steer. Smells like rotten eggs. Just like the place we panned for gold this morning. That's just what I was thinking. Sulfur. That's why Barnes wants that place. Yeah. Now all we've got to do is get out of here. Turn you back to me, Fuzz. What for? Untie my arms. Oh, yeah. I did. You did not. You picked up the deuce. Don't look at my hand. Quit looking at the discard, will you? Lynn. Keep her from signing that deed. Well, the first part's all right, but don't you realize when you walk in there, you won't walk out? I'll take that chance. Well, boys, I guess we might as well start the game over. <clears throat> Sit down. I'll just give it a little. Then you made such a fuss about it. I've been thinking it over, and I don't believe I want the ranch. So I went to the sheriff and withdrew my complaint. Well, you can hardly blame me for making a fuss. I make a deal with you, give you my deed, accept your check, and because you lose the deed, I'm thrown in jail. Well, I don't believe I want the ranch anyway. I had a new deed drawn up for you to sign. You may as well keep it. It's no use to me now. What do you mean you don't want the ranch? What's the matter with it? Nothing, but I have a right to change my mind, haven't I? That's no way to do business. A sale is a sale. And besides, I've got to sell it if I'm going to New York. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but... it's just the way I feel about it. Well, one would think the way you talk, the ranch wasn't worth having. Well, is it? If it's such a desirable place, why don't you just keep it? You know I've got my heart set on a career, and I can't have a ranch on my hands. Now you've bought my property. I would have done this in the first place if you hadn't have been so unreasonable and so ungentlemanly. 
Well, if it's any news to you, it was your boyfriend, Mr. Jack Manning, who had you thrown in jail. Crosser, how dare you? You have the nerve to come and talk to me again. What do you mean by having me arrested, you, you? Oh, I just can't find the words to describe you. Well, I think you're doing pretty well so far. Now listen, you little fool. Do you know there's a fortune on that ranch? Sulfur. Thousands of dollars worth of it. Sulfur on my... Oh, I just signed a new deed. Oh, you would. Where did Barnes go? Probably to the county seat to record it. Remind me to give you a good spanking when I come back. Explaining to do. Now get on your horse. Does that satisfy you, Sheriff? You bet. This clears you of the cattle rustling charge. All right, Barnes, come on. Here's your deed, Lynn. You don't care what you sign, do you? So it seems. Well, do you mind signing just one more thing? From now on, I'm going to be more careful. It's a poor time to be careful. What is this? That, darling, is a marriage license. Oh. Well, in that case, I'll change my mind. 